Friday, July 28, 2023, Aaron and I were dropped off at Churchill Dam to set out on a seven-day, 62-mile expedition across the Allagash Wilderness Waterway. Each day posed new and different obstacles put within our path, and together we had to work as a team to overcome each and every obstacle put within that path. Ultimately, we were able to make it all the way to Allagash Village, which is the official end of the Wilderness Waterway and the end of our journey itself. All right, it's 5.30 p.m. We finally made it on the water. We're here at uh, Churchill Lake. It's July 28th, Friday afternoon. We're heading back to Jaws. We were hoping to make it to Scoville Point, but we were advised by the park ranger that there's a large fishing group that is uh, hanging out there. So those plans are foiled. We're gonna be heading on down and uh, setting up camp tonight and portaging over the dam tomorrow. Well, this trip just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> the site that we wanted, we're not gonna be able to get. Uh, right now, it looks like High Bank might be the only option we have. Main reason being, across the way there at Jaws, they actually have a group with eight boats, which is ridiculous. Here we are at High Bank, first night of our trip. Not the site that we initially wanted, but we're gonna make the best of it. Just getting uh, ready for some dinner. Got camp set up. Still have a pretty good view from where we are. Can't really complain too much.
Got our chairs set up to look over the water. Some leftover wood from a previous group for us, so we may be able to utilize it for a fire tonight, but uh, we just had some downpour rains. It is definitely a little wet. Just finished putting up our tarp, just in case it happens to rain again. Nice little vestibule to hang out. What do you got to say, do you? Yeah, it's been a rough day. <clears throat> it's been a rough day. Uh, hotel is garbage. Uh, trailer got damaged. The leaf spring blew out on it as we were driving out here. So we had to stop for an hour and fix that. Got to the outfitter, another three and a half hours down the dirt roads. It's been a long day, but it's going to get better. Somebody needs some whisk. I think that's what it is. Calm them nerves. It's going to be a good trip. It's hard to not have a good time when you're out here enjoying nature's beauty. Saturday, we just made it to Churchill Dam. The quick uh, portage for you, Wendy. I know you like that term. So we're about to portage around the dam, which is only maybe 300 yards or so. And then we're gonna hit some rapids and have a really good day. So I think we all settled down last night. We're really happy that uh, we ended up having good weather. We were able to relax. So we're in much better spirits today. The weather is beautiful, so we're excited for the adventures ahead of us. So let's do this! <laughs> the benefits of having a lightweight boat come in handy. Okay. Now it's Dewey's turn. His boat weighs a little over twice mine, so... <laughs> this sucks. I'm not having any fun. <laughs> Shoulder pads get you right in the neck. That's got to feel good.
All right, now he's just got to load up. All right, it's uh, Friday at six o'clock. We finally made it to Chisholm Brook. Today was not the day that we thought we were going to have by any means necessary. Unfortunately, in the rapids, Duya did pin his boat. We had to leave it behind. We lost all of our gear downriver and we had to spend the better half of the afternoon finding our bags and getting them back into my boat and continuing on to go tandem the rest of the day only to get capsized once again and our bags went down river for a second time. We were able to retrieve everything except for my fishing rod and fishing net. Um, I believe Duya has everything of his minus of course his boat and I think well his fishing gear as well. So we have all the necessities however even being in dry bags and bare barrels um, sleeping mats are soaking wet, clothes are being hung up to dry, we have our rain flies set up to dry, everything spread out. The plan wasn't to spend two days here at Chisholm Brook, but I think for morale and giving time for stuff to dry out, we're just going to have to do so. We are going to keep pushing forward and hopefully we have better days ahead. Because as of right now, it's taking every ounce of us to just say, fuck it, let's go home. Neither one of us had lunch today. Uh, we were on the water at 11. Thought we'd be here by 1, and as I said, it's 6 o'clock. And we're now finally getting some dinner. What do you got to say, do you? Yeah, it's been an awful day. <laughs> this trip, this, everything about this trip has gone wrong. Time we got up here, and today was the worst. Yeah, it really was. We, we must have walked and lined your boat two miles, three miles. I don't even know. I lost track, but it was bad. And I don't have my boat, which I absolutely love. So yeah, it's been tough. Today's been tough. And all I could think about was just quitting. I. I just still don't want to be here, but we're going to do the best we can. That's all you can do. That's it. Keep moving forward. All right, it is uh, Monday morning at 9.20 a.m. We're pretty much packed up and ready to hit the water, but as you can see, it's raining uh, pretty good. Luckily, we were able to dry out our gear yesterday, but we'll see how it goes. We're trying to get a big paddle day in today to maybe make up for some lost time yesterday. So here we are still underneath the tarp, trying to stay dry as long as we can. It's pouring out. It's pouring out. It's definitely been an interesting few days, but that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I have to say, I think Aaron and I are going to be much stronger men after this trip, the way it's been going. But you know what? I'm happy we're here. I'm glad we're doing the trip. 
it's definitely a life experience and I think down the road we'll definitely be uh, laughing about all of the uh, things that we ran into on this trip. It's one, uh, one of a kind, if you will. So we're heading out to check out Los Popple. We may stay there, but for the big day, we're trying to get up to Round Pond and Back Channel. However, we've seen probably seven or eight groups pass us by within the last day. So very popular this time of year. We'll just have to roll the dice and see where they land. Check back in with you guys later. All right, we're uh, halfway through Umsaskis. We just passed ledges. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful day outside. We're really enjoying life right about now. But we're making it happen. We're crushing some distance. I'd say we got probably going about three miles an hour on average, I'd say, and that's just a guesstimate, but we're definitely moving. Double blade, double blade is a good combination. We figured out the weight distribution in the boat. Things seem to be on the up and up as of today. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. All right, we're coming up on the Umsaskis Bridge. On the other side of this, we will have Long Lake. Took us no time to kill out uh, Unsaskis, making darn good time. Just finished up Long Lake. We're heading in the Harvey Pond. We've been paddling for a little over two hours at this time. Without the headwind, we'd probably be making a little bit better time. But this trip's slogan is, oh well, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. We're at Long Lake Dam. We're gonna have to portage around and get back on the water. Seems like the rain's kind of let up a little bit at this time, so that's good. We're both like drowned rats right now. But we're making good time. It's two o'clock, sun's finally come out. The rain stopped coming down. We just uh, portaged around uh, Lock Dam and we're now back on the Allagash River. We are going to try and crush some distance today and make it to back channel, which would be about a total of a 15 mile paddle day today, but trying to make up for some lost time and so far, so good. All right, we're making really good progress. We're coming down the uh, Allagash River. We just uh, passed out Sweeney Brook. We're maybe five and a half miles from back channel. We're kind of hoping that uh, we do get this site. The sun's finally come out. We got to take all our dry gear off and we're now drying out. Um, definitely warming up and things are looking bright. So we're pretty happy about that. And maybe we will actually get our two nights at back channel like we were hoping for. Well, we'll see what happens when we get down the river and we'll keep you posted. Look at the reflection of the trees off of the water. It's like glass. 
It's amazing how the weather turns in a blink of an eye up here. One minute it's driving rain with big headwinds. The next the sun is shining and it's calm. Just gotta go with the flow, it's the nature of the beast. And that's what we've been doing. We just made it to Henderson Bridge. Gonna drop us right off into Round Pond and then uh, hopefully back channel is the goal. If not, backup is gonna be Squirrel Pocket. We'll just have to see what happens. We had about another four groups ahead of us, so we're not sure where people are. Fingers crossed we actually get something we want on this trip. It is currently Tuesday afternoon, a little after two o'clock. We got here at Back Channel last night, set up camp. Spent the better half of the day searching and trying to find wood. Camp's all set up. We're gonna spend one more night here and then carry on. Luckily, the ranger gave us a visit today to basically say they found Duya's boat. They were able to get it out of the, uh, the water. So things are looking promising. We're probably gonna get it back before we head home. Already confirmed that it is still salvageable and working. Similar setup to how it was when we were here last October. My tent here in the back. Rain fly over the picnic table. Beautiful view that we love so much. Just gotta be careful not to trip over all these guy lines. It's a little windy this time of year. Here's all the aftermath of wood cutting that we spent with the splitter. Getting it set up for this evening. We just left back channel it is Wednesday morning uh, we have plans to um, basically do about 10 miles today and we're going towards Mishu farm possibly might stop at Cunliffe Depot or a few other sites just before we're gonna scope them out see what's good uh, we're definitely gonna be able to get out a day early to go grab Duya's boat down at Churchill Dam which is up on a pallet waiting for him so talk about best case scenario. We're definitely in way better spirits today. The sun is shining, really can't complain. Oh, you're mad, you're mad, you're Luke, mad. can you grab it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, and just, just like another, the, Just another way of being flexible on this trip. <laughs> yeah, I think it's taught us very well to be able to bend, flex, go with the flow and you know, even though we still lost a few items at the end of the day, we're all here life is good I'm really glad we made this trip it's always an adventure when you're out here and that's what we expect had an awesome fire last night to kick off the last night at back channel 
the amount of people that were on this lake is insane. There's six sites on Round Pond, every one of them full and one of them inlet, which is a double site, ended up having to house, I think three, possibly four groups because by the time it hit five o'clock, there was still boats coming into this lake, um, which is just the most traffic I've ever seen. So luckily we were able to have back channel to ourselves and it was really great night. See how the rest of the day goes. It is currently 4.30 on Wednesday afternoon. We left La Back Channel earlier this morning, a little after 10 o'clock. We got here probably right around 2.30. Just finished setting up camp. We are now at Ramsey Ledges. It is actually a three campsite location. Not too bad, not too bad. Definitely got some new battle scars on the canoe. Little shallow in spots. So just come right on up here. We've already uh, found some wood quartered it out got all the kindling in there definitely gonna have a really good fire tonight have ourselves a nice little sunshade tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day today was probably in the mid 80s all day so perfect day to be on the water paddling Last night when I was in the tent was definitely a lot warmer as much as I'd like to use the hammock, I guess. The weather's not cooperating. It was down to 45 last night. I'm sure it'll be the same tonight, so the tent is necessary. I made sure that Duya's tent was at least 50 yards away. I know Triple T would have an appreciation for that with the snoring that his son likes to do. Hey. It's a, it's a science, not an art, you know what I mean? <laughs> As you can see, it's a big open field up here. We took the smaller site, so the other two open sites are over here. We definitely passed another four or five groups on the water today. So we definitely wanted to have our distance, but we're only one mile from uh, Misho Farms and then another couple miles to the portage around Allagash Falls. And then from there, we're, our journey is going to be pretty much coming to a close. What do you got to say about today, do you? Oh, dude. Smooth sailing. Easy. Fun. We had a bunch of rips. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we got down here in 
four hours. We knocked out like 11 miles in four hours. It was easy. So yeah, we're set up, done for the day. Now we're chilling. Can't go wrong with that. No, you sure can't. Life is good. It's currently 10 a.m. We're actually on the water exactly on time. We just left Ramsey Ledge. We we're on our way to uh, check in at Michaud Farms with the Ranger. After that, we have Allagash Falls, which is a three quarter mile uh, portage around the falls, about a 20 foot falls there. And we're gonna continue on a little bit further past that and spend the night. Uh, so today's about another 11 mile paddle with the three quarter mile portage. So we got a good day ahead of ourselves, but again, the weather is cooperating. So not a whole lot to complain about. Uh, so pretty much except for day two, this trip has been very successful. So we'll keep you posted as the day goes on. Check back in with you later. All right, we made it to the checkpoint at Mishu Farms. Ch uh, Duya is checking in at the office right now. Beautiful view. We made it to the portage around Allagash Falls. Let the fun begin. You can hear that waterfall ripping in the background. All right, carrying down the portage trail right around River Right to Allagash Falls. This is fun, I can tell you.
You're making it better. <laughs> Coming to the end. Now we still got to go back and get the boat a couple runs at this, but not that bad. Last trip carrying the boat. That's definitely coming my back too, man. Having fun yet? This is the last trip, man. Let's do it. There's Allagash Falls and what we're portaging around right now. Talk about a ride if you miss River Right. We're back on the water after the portage around Allagash Falls. Uh, there had to be, well, you'll see in the video, there's probably 20 people portaging along with us. So very, very busy intersection. Took us maybe about one hour to complete it. Um, I guess between us, it was only about a total of three trips. So it really wasn't that bad. Um, it's currently now 1230. So we got plenty of time to get up to the site. Our goal is to get up to any of the West Twin Brooks that are, you know, roughly another, say, six miles up river. Um, so halfway through the day, we should be done in a few hours. I'm really starting to get really annoyed at this part of the river. It's just ankle deep. Keep having to get out and walk the boat, get back in paddle a few feet, get back out, walk again. Need about another foot to two feet of water so we could just float on through, but it doesn't seem to be happening for us. So later part of the trip, we're definitely starting to get really aggravated with uh, the low CFS that we're experiencing right now. So hopefully we get more water down the way. We still got another five miles to go, so doing it this way will take all day. All right, it's currently 2.40 in the afternoon. We ended up cutting our day a little bit short. 
uh, due to the imminent rain. It has been raining now for the last hour, just light rain, if you will. Uh, but if we did not stop here, the next set of campsites are another three miles down river. So Dewey and I both decided that we'd rather cut the day a little short and we end up here at Big Brook North. Um, we did five and a half miles today, plus a three quarter mile portage to get here, which means tomorrow to get to Allagash Village, instead of the two miles we planned on, we still have an additional five to five and a half miles tomorrow to get on out of here. Because of the rain, we now have the rain tarp set up with our nice vestibule here in the back. Probably won't be having a fire tonight, but uh, at least we'll stay nice and dry. Do his tent off in the distance there, and I made sure to put myself over here in the corner far enough away. Not a bad view from here, pretty decent sight. What's a little creepy though about the site is we do have, it looks like a little grave site with a name tag on the bottom here by Brooks. So we're assuming that this is probably someone's dog, unfortunately, it would be the only logical guess. So he's just finishing up lunch. Oh yeah, chicken piccata, garlic, capers, and Parmesan cheese. Always gotta love a good freeze dried meal though. <laughs> First one of the trip, so I'm not upset about it. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're down to at this point. Um, all of the real food coolers only last so long. And I have to tell you, my body is telling me it does not like freeze dried meals. Yeah. <laughs> That's been ripping ass for the last day and a half. <laughs> I guess it's inevitable. All right, it is currently 9 a.m. We just left Big Brook North. Uh, we are heading to Allagash Village, five and a half miles up river. That is our takeout. As you can see, a nice light rain to finish off our trip. We started in the rain, finish in the rain. I guess it makes sense. So we'll see uh, where we get in five and a half miles. Hopefully it's only a few hours. It's been a good trip. What a perfect way to end our trip. Still been a slog through this section of river. It's very shallow, having to get in and out of the boat and walk with it multiple times. Finally got to a deeper section here. Let's hope it stays that way.
right, we made it to the end. We are at the takeout in Allagash Village. It is now currently 11.34, so we made pretty good time. The river uh, definitely gave us a few little hiccups. We did actually get pinned on uh, a rock. The boat started filling up with water. We didn't lose any gear. We had to shuttle it over to the uh, shore and take all the gear out and dump the boat over to get all the water out and then reload it back up. And in the midst of doing that, my uh, thwart actually ripped out of the canoe. So this boat's definitely been used and abused and it's gonna need some repair when I get back. But it uh, got us downriver safely and we are finished. Yes!